Alô. Alô. I don't know why OBS just decided to, like, have a random say I'm not recording thing. I don't know. Well, anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you about a pig pen cipher. Oh, and, um, by the way, I have my own... I created a custom mouse, so... Yeah, that's why you guys can... So you guys can look at that. Gaze in the beauty of it. Whoa, 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 oh. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that, but... Well, anyway, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna move this to the top right corner, but... Today, I'm gonna be teaching you about... Oh, it just disappeared. Okay, then. Well, anyway, what is a pig pen cipher so if you see right here this text is what you need to this text is what you need to the code and if you look over here you'll see that we have random lines and boxes with letters and dots and other stuff might as well make that dot a bit bigger now excuse me for the bad handwriting as i'm writing on a computer which is kind of hard to do in the first place Alright, well, let's get to the decoding part. So, if we look here, we have, like, random lines and dots, but here's what you're going to want to do. So, you see this line? That co corresponds to a line over here, and this line can corresponds to one of those lines. So, these two together, you look on this little square, and you find whichever symbol would match up, which is this. And because there's no dot in this one, it's a P. But for this one, you have it's the same it's the same symbol like that, but in, but there's a dot this time, so now it's the I. So we have a P and an I. I'm gonna just draw it right there so that way you guys can see it. All right, now for this symbol, we have a line on the left, a line on the bottom, and a line on the right. Well, if we go over to here, this is the one that has a line on the left, a line on the bottom, and a line on the right. And because there's no dot, it must be a G. Chances are you might be able to guess where it's heading, but let's continue. Alright, so we know that this is a P because because we already solved that, but the bottom one, we have a bottom and a right, which means that this bottom and right means that we have a P. Oh, um, let me draw that better. Okay. Alright, now this is the first of the weird diagonal things, but 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 then again, we haven't used this one yet, so maybe it has something to do with that. Of course, it exactly has something to do with that, as as the diagonal. There's a t top left to bottom right diagonal, which goes which corresponds to this one, and and then we have a bot and then we have a middle to and then we have a top right to bottom left one, which corresponds to that one, and it could also be that one, but. But because of these two together, it has to be this one. And because there's a dot, it must be an E. E. Alright, similar thing. We have a bottom left to top right. So we have so it's either that one or that one. However, now we have a we also have a top left to bottom right one, which means that it has to be these two, as it's the shape, it's the same shape. And because there's a dot. It must be an N. So we have pig and pen. Alright, so th these two over here correspond to these two. So C, and then these two, I, and then try see if you can guess it before I finish writing it out. Um, so pig, pen, scythe, there, the... Those two go to these two, and it's an E because if there's a dot, because there's a dot, you go to the other one. And then these two go to the R, because there's a dot. So in this text, I wrote out the words pig, pen, and cipher. So really, we have a pig, pen, cipher. Alright, let's see another example. Oh, by the way, just so you know, you, if you want to make your own, the letters in the boxes do not have to always be the same. You can all, I just, I just looked at my keyboard and just wrote it out, but I forgot an E and then I had, and I wrote the word pig as the first one. So really, you can have any combination of letters in these. 
Alright, so I've written another one, and please forgive me for the handwriting I'm on a mouse. So, um, alright, so let's see if we can get through this one together. So, we have a left, a top, and a right. Left, top, right. So it must be an H. And now we have a top, left, bottom. Top, left, bottom. So it's an A. And now we have left, top, with a dot. Left, top, with a dot is an L. And then we have the same thing again. And now we have a box, which is this one. And it has a dot, so it's an O. Ha so, hello. Alright, and then we have a right and a bottom with a dot, which is an I. And I just wrote a random apostrophe, don't ask why. Oh, that rhymed. Um, now we have... I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna say the lines for the diagonals, because they're hard to say, so... Top left, bottom right, this one. Bottom left, top right, this one. So, and because there's no dot, it's an M. And I realize that I'm saying it out loud anyway. Bottom left, top right, this... It could be that one or that one, but because there's a top left, bottom right, it has to be this one. And there's no dot, so it's B. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess it now. And... Oh, wait, I was about to draw a box. No, I want to draw a O. Top left, bottom right, bottom left, top right, which with a dot, which is an X, a letter that you don't usually use. Bottom left, top right, top left, bottom right, and no dot, so it's a B. And there's a reason why I made it a lowercase b. Now we have bottom right, bot. No, we have a bottom line and a bottom. And we have a bottom line and a right line with a dot, which is an I. Then we have a bottom left, top right, top left, bottom right with a dot, which is an N. And a left, a bottom, and a right, which with no dot, which is a G. Hello, I'm Boxbing. And I hope this short 7 minute, 20 second video has really helped you learn what a pig pen cipher is. I'm Boxbing, and I hope that you have a good day.